Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back. We are gonna go ahead and dive into my Lavender and Speckles pre-order from the July opening. I have my invoice here and it shows that I placed this order on July 13th and it is September 8th or 9th when I'm recording this. So it, not even a two month turnaround time, which is absolutely fantastic. Beth and Matt, her husband, are just an amazing powerhouse team and they always seem to pump out orders so quickly and before her estimated turnaround time. So Beth and Matt, thank you so much for your hard work and dedication. I'm so excited to dive into what I got here. I actually got two orders or two boxes, I should say, delivered from Lavender and Speckles yesterday. One of them being this pre-order and then I also got my customs order delivered. So I did go kind of light on this pre-order, light for me, because I knew I was coming up on custom. So I just wanted to make sure I was being mindful with what I was getting. So I do have about eight souffles here. And then I did go ahead and pick up the laundry sampler. So we're going to go ahead and dive through all of that. My invoice does say that everything can be warmed after October 1st. So I still have several weeks for these blends to cure. And um, so we'll keep that in mind as we go ahead and sniff through everything. But I'm so excited to see what these blends are like. Most of these blends, if not all of them, are new to me. I have had apple zucchini bread, which I had, which I've had before, and the rest of them are all new, so super excited. I haven't tried many of her laundry blends either. I've tried a couple, but this sampler just sounded amazing, and I'm one of the rare few that are true laundry lovers, so I'm really excited to dive in and see the goodness that is in that sampler. So Let's go ahead and get started here. My box came beautifully packaged with this nice fall orange tissue paper. I have her really nice business card on top here, Lavender and Speckles Wax, and it has her website on the bottom. I will, of course, leave that information down below in the description box in case you're interested in purchasing or want to learn more about Lavender and Speckles. I obviously highly recommend. Um, Beth and her husband are just great they i cannot rave more for, about her product i mean her wax performs super well for me i do use a combination of scentsy element warmers scentsy bulb warmers i use hot plates and an occasional tea light um i also have a candle crock so i use a vast variety of warmers but i found no matter what kind of warmer i'm using for her wax i generally get at least a medium throw from a majority of her blends um she also has started incorporating an olive oil formula and this is the first time that I'm going to experience that formula so I'm super excited. She also offers Parasoy which is when you get her shape bags. Those are the Parasoy formula and now she has the soy formula as well. So if you've experienced Lavender and Speckles wax in the past, if you weren't completely happy with the throw for any reason with her wax, I would highly recommend trying her new olive oil formula because it is supposed to be a lot softer and hopefully you will have a better experience with that. She does also provide a thank you card with a beautiful picture of her and her husband, Matt. So thank you so much. And there are also some melting tips here, which I will hold up here. Feel free to screenshot if you need any of these tips or would like to read them. But I also will leave, um, you know, her contact information in the description box so you can reach out to her for any questions or feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I'll be happy to help you with anything that I'm able to. I also got this really cute fall pen in my box. So cute. It's like a plaid wrapped pen. It has some leaves on there, a pumpkin, and I thought it was a football at first, but it's an acorn. How cute is that? Love that so much, Beth. Thank you. That is such a sweet addition. All right. Let's dive in. I have my sample here. This looks like it's in the olive oil formula in Seattle rain and there's a laundry basket on there. So I'm assuming maybe this is one of the blends in a laundry sampler or just a laundry blend. Ooh, that is super strong. This is definitely detergent type laundry. This comes off as a laundry detergent. It also is giving me a little bit of a powdery vibe. And then I'm getting an aquatic undertone. It's almost like an aquatic men's body body wash type aquatic. It's definitely a little salty, but it has that aquatic, almost slightly cologne essence to it as well. But prominently, it's that kind of laundry detergent, leaning laundry oil, and it does come off a little bit powdery. Almost like it's like those 
scent beads that you could throw into your laundry and that give it like a scent boost but it's like an aquatic scent booster if that makes sense like it still gives you that fresh clean detergent laundry vibe but it has that really beautiful aquatic undertone to it too this is a powerhouse um i could definitely get away with cutting this sample shot in thirds and i'm sure it'll throw like a beast so i'm looking forward to melting this in my bedroom or bathroom i think it'll just be a beautiful fresh aquatic laundry scent so that's sea, uh seattle what is that seaside rain i'm sorry seaside rain get some of these packing worms out of the way oh i'm so excited all right Ooh, on top is actually the blend that i've had before this is apple zucchini bread this is phenomenal if you are an apple bakery lover or you're just an apple lover in general i highly recommend trying beth's apple this is red delicious apple blended with zucchini bread and vanilla waffle cones you guys when i tell you that this is the most authentic apple oil i've ever had i'm not exaggerating it's so realistic and so fresh it's like you just took your apple core and you sliced your apple and you have the juices of the red apple on the core and you could smell them maybe you have the juices on your fingers as you're picking the apple up to eat it it's just so pretty it's sweet but it's realistic it's not a candied sweet it's like that kind of realistic sweetness that you get from a fresh perfectly ripe apple oh it's beautiful and then in that combination with the waffle cone, it just adds a little bit of sugary sweetness, adds a little bit of bakery texture to it. And you do get a little bit of the savory zucchini bread on cold, but when you warm this up, that's when this blend shines, like the zucchini bread comes out and it plays beautifully with the juicy, slightly sweet, realistic apple. And then you have that element of the savory zucchini bread. This is just a beautiful, bakery blend for the fall but this is also such a, a perfect option as like a kind of summer into fall transition bakery this is a powerhouse i was debating getting more of this but this souffle is probably going to last me several melts because you don't need much of this to get a really strong throw so this is one of my favorite bakeries that i've tried from beth it is absolutely delicious so that's apple zucchini bread Next, I have spiced oat milk, toasted pumpkin spice, and zucchini bread. I don't know if I mentioned this, but all of these souffles are the olive oil formula, so I'm super excited to try that. Um, I have not tried her spiced oat milk before, toasted pumpkin spice, and then zucchini bread. I know I like her zucchini bread, so let's see. I don't think you could go wrong with this one. Ooh, this is nice. It's very, very creamy, definitely very heavy on that spiced oat milk. You do get a little bit of spice, but to me, this is much more creamy than it is spicy. And by spiced oat milk, it's almost like I'm getting a little bit of, a little bit of a cinnamon, but it's also like a nutmeg also. I wouldn't even say that this is, this isn't spicy at all to me. You just get the creaminess of the oat milk, but you could tell it has like spices or flavorings added or sprinkled into the oat milk. Like this isn't cinnamon broom cinnamon at all. This is definitely like a sweeter pinch of cinnamon with like a nutmeg or brown sugar. Oh, this is so pretty. Super, super creamy. And then I don't get much of the pumpkin spice because I've had her pumpkin spice before and it's definitely dominant. You can tell when that is supposed to be the front and center of the blend. In this one, it's not. I'm mainly getting the creamy spiced oat milk and the undertone of that savory delicious zucchini bread and i think as this sits those spices from the pumpkin spice will come out more but even if they don't i'm really happy with how this is right now i think this is just going to be a really nice creamy full bakery zucchini bread so that is spiced oat milk toasted pumpkin spice and zucchini bread delicious This next one is pumpkin chai latte cupcake. This is vanilla chai latte, pumpkin pie spice, white cake, and a hint of vanilla buttercream. Apparently I was really looking for fall bakery and I'm not mad about that because I'm so ready to start melting that sort of stuff. Woo, okay. So I am happy that I described that previous spiced oat milk blend the way I did because this, 
you can for sure get that pumpkin pie spice like that is front and center in this blend there's no mistaking that at all definitely those heavy in your face fall spices i'm definitely getting a lot of that spicier leaning cinnamon definitely getting some brown sugar in there as well you do get the chai spices but to me you mostly get the pumpkin pie spices and then a little bit of that chai in the background white cake not really i can definitely tell that there's a little bit of a bakery element in there it kind of is leaning more cupcake or just cake in general i wouldn't be able to say it's like white cake per se but this is predominantly pumpkin spice and chai spice and it just has that creamy kind of undertone to it i guess that's the buttercream and the cake together which i could appreciate because i think it's really taking those spices and making it so that you could appreciate them but it, it's not too in your face or offensive so beautifully blended i think these chai spices in here are so beautiful i think it's gonna be even more decadent and delicious on warm i'm hoping that once i go to warm this up come next month that those bakery elements really come alive and they'll just play beautifully with those chai and pumpkin spices so that's pumpkin chai latte cupcake This next one is Donut Shop in Palo with Vanilla Pumpkin Cream. So Cinnamon Sugar Donuts, Palo Santo, Rich Pumpkin Pie, and Super Creamy Vanilla. I've had her Donut Shop in Palo before. I love it. It's just Cinnamon Sugar Donuts and Palo Santo. I mean, just sweet, but then smoky bakery. You can't go wrong with that. And then with Vanilla Pumpkin Cream, like how can you go wrong with this combo? Oh my goodness. You definitely get the cinnamon sugar donuts. You get the smokiness from the palo, like just that beautiful donut shop and palo that we all love. But then you get just a really nice twist to this because you do get that dense pumpkin pie. I love this. That pumpkin pie with the palo, it's sweet, but then it is just so smoky and it's creamy. And then you get that cinnamon sugar donut is just playing off of those pumpkin pie spices really nicely Oof. i'm trying to decide if i like pumpkin chai latte cupcake or this one better but they actually are different because this doesn't have those chai spices in there these are both beautiful slightly spiced fall bakeries i love the combination of this donut shop with the pumpkin this is delectable i am super excited to warm this one that is phenomenal. So it's Donut Shop in Palo with Vanilla Pumpkin Cream. Delicious. I definitely could have gotten more of that one. This next one is French Bourbon and Oud. I have heard so many good things about this blend. Um, there is no description on this because this is just French Bourbon and Oud Wood. And Chris from Dazzling Scents with Chris goes on and on and on about this and how much she loves it. So I am so excited to finally be able to try this. Oh my God, this is beautiful. This is very smoky, but it also leans sophisticated and slightly elegant. This kind of smells like when you walk into like a cigar lounge, you get that smokiness but it also comes off a little bit creamy and a little bit airy, but it's definitely a thicker, heavier smoke, but it also leans a little bit masculine as well. Like it's like you're walking into a cigar lounge, you could smell like the smokiness and the earthiness of that setting, but then you can smell like, say a man walks past you and you get kind of a whiff of his cologne. And it's just blending in so beautifully with that rich earthy sophistication this is just so upscale like you warm this and your house is going to smell fancy it's going to smell welcoming it's going to smell elegant oh my god the smoky the smoky touch to this is just absolutely stealing my heart this is beautiful this is so hard to describe but if you're somebody who really likes those kind of smoky earthy fragrances this is definitely one you need to keep your eye out for this is really really nice I knew from the way that Chris was describing this and going on and on about it that I would love it. Chris, you did not steer me wrong. I really enjoy that. Next is pine cones and beach marshmallows. 
with by the fireplace type. This sounds incredible. This is roasted pine cones, vanilla birch, and marshmallows with vanilla, sea salt, driftwood, a hint of s'mores, and by the fireplace type. Like, say less, this is one I probably easily could have gotten a loaf of. Oh, beautiful. Very, very nice. I love that usually by the fireplace is the dominant note when it's blended with things, but to me, I'm definitely getting the beach nights front and center. You're definitely getting vanilla. You're getting toasted marshmallow. You're getting a little bit of salty sea air. I'm not getting any roasted pine cones right now that may come out as this sits. But I am getting an ever so slight, sweet, light, airy smokiness in the background from the by the fireplace. But this is definitely front and center, like a beach nights blend. And then you just get an ever so slight background of a light, sweet, smoky fragrance from the by the fireplace. And I can just imagine how much more I'm going to enjoy this once that roasted pine cones comes out. So this is definitely a winner for sure. This is just a beautiful staple to have for the end of summer and even fall. I would melt this obviously in the winter too, but to my nose, this is definitely more of a fall fragrance. So I cannot wait till October 1st rolls around and I can officially melt this because this is going to be a beautiful kind of segue into me diving further into the fall melting. Okay, should have two more souffles in here and then we'll dig into the laundry sampler. This next one is white tea and thyme. Again, no scent notes because it's pretty self-explanatory there. I have really been liking white tea scents. I just find them so rejuvenating, very refreshing. And that's exactly what this is. It's very crisp, it's light, it's airy, but it's also very sweet and sort of spa-like. So white tea is a very zen kind of fragrance to me. It's definitely something that I smell and I think of walking into like a spa and it's that aroma that they have um, being diffused into the air, like that very sweet but relaxing sort of herbal scent. And then the time is just playing into that and adding some like earthy texture to this. And just a little bit, like a little bit of a layer of depth. It's adding like a little bit more than a typical white tea would add. It's just adding a little bit of a, of a different earthy kind of texture to this. This is really pretty, super strong. Um, I'm going to love this in my bedroom. I'm going to love this in my bathroom. I can honestly see myself melting this throughout my house on a day when I want to have the windows open. I just want it to smell fresh clean and kind of just rejuvenate my space a little bit this will definitely be perfect for that so that's white tea and thyme and then the last one i am so excited for this one this is lavender and buttercream latte sweet lavender fresh lavender vanilla buttercream and a shot of espresso i have absolutely loved beth's coffee blends that i've tried and then you blend it with lavender which i also love i mean you can't go wrong with that Oh my God, that espresso is what hits me first. And it's just a beautiful, freshly roasted espresso. It's like you just took your espresso beans and got them grounded up and you're just getting that aroma. But then it's also creamy and you get a little bit of sweetness from that sweet lavender. I'm honestly getting more sweet lavender than I do fresh herbal lavender. But prominently, this is definitely a coffee blend to my nose. If you're not a coffee lover, I would say maybe like stay away from this one because that shot of espresso is definitely what hits you first and it's pretty strong. But then you get a creaminess undertone, like a creamy undertone to this and then you get a pinch of sweetness from that sweet lavender. But I believe as this sits longer, you're really going to be able to appreciate the lavender more in here and it might even take over that espresso. But just knowing her coffee blends in general from past experience, they typically perform super, super well and the coffee is what shines in those blends. So I do hope that the lavender comes out a little bit more, but this is honestly perfect the way it is because I really adore Beth's coffee oils and the way that she blends coffee. Like this is such a unique take on coffee with that sweet lavender and the creaminess from the buttercream. This is delicious, it's making my mouth water. So that's lavender and buttercream latte. Beth, this is amazing. All right, I think that's it. So we can go ahead and dive into the sampler here. This looks, oh, this looks so cute. And this yellow bag here 
with the Lavender and Speckles logo on the tag and it came with 10 sample shots here, which is such a generous sampler. Um, these sample cups, you could definitely cut into two or three. Even just knowing the nature of these scents being laundry fragrances, I probably will be able to get away with cutting these scent shots into thirds. Um, so I am gonna go ahead and go over each scent. I'm just not gonna take too long on them because otherwise this will be almost an hour long video and I'm not trying to do that right now. But um, I'll definitely, obviously describe them as best as I can, but I'm not gonna be able to sit here and smell each one for like five minutes. So let's just pull and go. The first one I have here is Blue Sugar Boom Boom Laundry. What a fun combo. And I do wanna add, I believe Laura, Laura Bunton, I wanna say her name is is yes it is it's laura bunton um she definitely helped beth come up with all of these blends if not a majority of them so laura congratulations that's so exciting and i'm so glad that you're a fellow laundry lover like i am so let's see blue sugar boom boom and laundry Ooh, this is definitely a lot more sweet than i anticipated it being i'm getting almost like kind of a dryer sheet type of laundry oil here but then that sweetness and warmth from the Boom Boom definitely comes through. And I'm getting a little bit of creaminess from that blue sugar. I'm honestly not getting much blue sugar in here. I could tell it's there, but this is predominantly Boom Boom and laundry, like a, laun like a dryer sheet. So this is pretty. This one's definitely going to have to sit a little bit just because I want that blue sugar to really come out because I'm a sucker for blue sugar. But the Boom Boom and the laundry in here are definitely playing really nicely. The next one is Mountain Fresh Pine Cones and Grass. That sounds beautiful. Oh, this is really nice. This is definitely like a fresh air, a light airy laundry. Like this type of laundry blend is like when you go to open the dryer to take the freshly dried clothes out and you're getting that that whiff of the warm air that comes out when you open the dryer, but then you're getting like the remnants of the detergent. This is definitely more of a fresh air leaning laundry. This isn't like a heavy dense detergent or a dryer sheet. It's kind of like you're getting the remnants of the fragrance of the laundry products that you use. And then I'm definitely getting like a fresh cut grass more so than the pine cones. I don't even really smell the pine cones much to be honest with you. I'm just getting a beautiful, fresh, light, warm air with a touch with the fresh cut grass. This is pretty. This is definitely a unique take on laundry. I've never seen fresh cut grass with a laundry blend, but I'm so here for this. So that's mountain fresh pine cones and grass. This next one is Wow Laundry. So I can only assume this is probably going to be like straight up in your face dryer sheet or detergent. And it is. This is definitely coming across a little bit powdery. This definitely leans to me a little bit more like a detergent than it would like a dryer sheet. But it's, it's definitely, it's a powdery detergent. It almost gives me a little bit of a, almost a powdery floral but it just smells very fresh and light and clean. So this is just like a straight up typical laundry. So that's nice. Always nice to have those types of fragrances when you're cleaning your house and you just want to reset the air or you're cooking something that leaves odor behind like a fish or onions, garlic, and you just want to kind of reset the air in your home. I always like to do laundry on those types of days. This is Vanilla I Heart Laundry. Ooh, this is pretty. This is definitely like a perfumey vanilla, like a body care type of vanilla. And then you get the undertone of like the light airiness of a fresh dryer sheet. But this is like a warm but perfumey vanilla paired with that laundry. This is really pretty. Definitely unique to anything I have in my collection. I don't think I have any vanilla leaning laundry fragrances. So this is really, really nice. It's almost coming off to me like a French vanilla. The more that I smell it. It's like a rich kind of body care perfumey vanilla. 
Oh, this smells luxe. I really like this one. Vanilla I Heart Laundry. Let's see here. I'm trying to stack these so that they don't fall over. Beach Marshmallow and Palo with Laundry. What a fun combination. I never would have thought to put these together. Ooh, okay, so I'm definitely getting the smokiness from the Palo first and foremost, but it's like a sweet smokiness. Definitely getting the creaminess from the marshmallows as well. And then there's just kind of a background of a sweet kind of laundry detergent. To me, this definitely smells more of like a sweet, slight, slightly, slightly sweet floral laundry detergent. Almost like a sweet pea from Bath and Body Works. That's kind of the uh, vibe I'm getting from this laundry oil. And then you get the beautiful, like dense marshmallow with the smokiness of the Apollo. I love that these are all so unique. This is really pretty too. Wow, that is beautiful. Okay, I'm trying to put a pile aside of the ones that I think I like best. Okay. This one is, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Baiha Floor 68 in Clothesline. I'm so sorry, I probably butchered that, but it sounds like it's going to be a perfume dupe with Clothesline. Okay, definitely very sweet, but then I'm getting um almost, almost kind of like a laundry detergent, but this is very, coming off very sweet and almost candied like floral. And then an undertone of very, very light kind of laundry undertone to this. Or like a freshly, um, like a freshly done load of laundry that you have in the basket. And as you walk by, you can kind of get the remnants of the laundry detergent on your clothes. Yeah, this is, it's very light on the laundry in this one. This one's definitely heavier on that perfumey kind of candied sweet floral. And then an ever so slight touch of that kind of laundry in the back. So this is pretty. I need to stop saying this is pretty because I like laundry and they're all very nice. Fall sweater. Ooh, this is definitely like sweater weather from Bath and Body Works. That's all I'm getting from here. It's definitely like eucalyptus. Um almost like a little bit minty as well but it just has that feeling of fresh fall air like fresh cold air with eucalyptus and almost a little bit of mint this is very bright very a little bit of zestiness to it definitely very fresh if you're not a sweater weather sweater weather fan then i do, don't think this is necessarily for you because it smells like straight up sweater weather sweater weather why can i not say that but I'm a sweater weather fan, so I enjoy this, but it's definitely an acquired taste because it does lean quite herbal with the eucalyptus. This is Sweet Bouquet, so I can only imagine this will be like a floral leaning laundry. Ooh, yeah, this is like fresh picked lilacs. This is definitely like a combination of lilacs and roses, I want to say. This one's not my favorite just because I'm not typically a floral melter. This is definitely a powdery but slightly sweet floral. And to me, it's like lilacs and roses. So this is okay. This is not my favorite, but that's because this comes to no surprise for me because I'm not typically a laundry fan. I think I'll melt this kind of sparingly and enjoy it, but I could also see this being one that would be a little too much for me. So that's Sweet Bouquet. Two more left we have blackberry moonlight i love when vendors do fruity scents with laundry i just i love that combination together Ooh, this is a very sweet authentic blackberry like a perfumey sweet body care blackberry and kind of just like an undertone of fresh air I'm getting in here. I'm not necessarily getting like a laundry detergent or a dryer sheet or like scent beads. This kind of just smells like a whiff of fresh spring air with fresh blackberries. And there's almost like a little bit of muskiness to this as well. Ooh, I love that juicy blackberry in here. That is 
really, really nice. The variety in here is just phenomenal. And then the last one is Cocoa Butter Cashmere and Laundry. How pretty does that sound? Oh, this is just really nice, slightly sensual, definitely creamy kind of body care laundry. But this smells like elevated, like this smells sophisticated. Cocoa Butter Cashmere, I don't know what it is, but the cashmere that's in Cocoa Butter Cashmere, I feel like can just make anything kind of smell luxe. And that's exactly what this is doing. This is a very sweet, creamy kind of vanilla leaning laundry. But then you get the undertone of like a fresh, clean dryer sheet. So this is pretty, but between the two that are more vanilla leaning, I definitely like vanilla I Heart Laundry better, but this is still really nice and I'll definitely enjoy this one. Yeah, I love the Cocoa Butter Cashmere. Okay, so out of all of those laundry samples, this comes to no surprise, my favorite two were I Heart Vanilla Laundry and Beach Marshmallow in Palos with Laundry. So Beth and Laura, this was such a fun sampler because you gave a little bit of everything. You have a little bit of earthiness. You have a little bit of sweet. You have a little bit of almost like a bakery twist in here. You have body care. You have floral. Bravo. This was like a beautiful variety in here and I'm going to enjoy all of these. So what a fun sampler. Thank you so much. My house is going to be smelling so pretty, so fresh, so clean, so luxe. So that was a lot of fun to go through and I am definitely going to look forward to picking up some more samplers because it's just such a fun way to try a variety of combinations with a scent category that you already know that you enjoy. So it kind of just gives you ideas of what to look out for for future pre-orders or ready to ships so that if you see any of these blends come up or anything like it, you'd kind of know that you, you would enjoy it. So that was the laundry sampler. Loved that. And that concludes everything that I got from this July pre-order. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below, did you participate in this pre-order? And if you did, what your favorites were so I can keep my eye out for them in future openings. But as always, I just adore Beth. I just really love her product. Like I said, it works really well for me in my home. And I'm just so happy to be able to support such a beautiful, genuine person like Beth. I mean, she's just a gem. She's one of a kind. And if you've been lucky enough to have interaction with her, whether it be in her group or personal messaging, anything. You just, you know what I mean when I say that she is just such a genuine, beautiful person and she's just a gem. So Beth, thank you for all of your hard work and dedication that you put into your brand. I absolutely love everything that I got here. And thank you for always putting your customers first and keeping our, our best interest forward and in the forefront of your business model. I really appreciate it and I am thrilled with everything that I got. So again, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to chatting with you all. I hope you're all doing well and we'll be talking soon. Bye.